Hi, welcome back to Mr. C's eBike. And I've got another product sent to me today. And I accidentally opened it because I have so many packages coming in for the new to me camper I just bought. But as soon as I opened it, realized what it was, I kept it in the box so I could open it for the first time in front of the camera. So let's get to it. This is a rider bag backpack. I reached out to this company because on their website they had pictures of it and it was so reflective. Like you, it looked like something you could see for miles. And this is a small company out of Florida. And I like supporting and helping out small businesses. But I can't really give you a, I mean, I, I do get 10 or 12% of the sale if you make, if you buy this bag. But that's not going to sway me. That's, I mean, buy it, don't buy it. And I can't really tell you if it's good or not until I checked it out some. But I can tell you a little bit about it. It comes with a free net bag. It clips onto the back of the backpack for your helmet, which is kind of cool. It comes with a free rain cover bag whatever you want to call it, it stretches around it. And it was made by a motorcycle rider that wanted to keep other riders visible in the street. And all the reflective material all over the place. And I guess it's got a lot of pockets. And I will have to check them out. It's got a bag or a zipper down here for your spine protector to slide in that's sold separately. I think it was like $10 or something like that on their website. But other than that, I'm going to have to check this bag out and get back with you after I know more about it. All right, the rider bag backpack. Zip it back up. And I showed you the free stuff that came with it, but while I was going through it, a sticker came out and a thank you card with a 10% off your next purchase code. Let's throw these over here. And keychain, the loop to hook your keychain too. You've got your multi-purpose carabiner, your paracord, your compass with a whistle, your fire starter, and your keychain. All right, and this bag measures 19 and a half by 13 by five. And check it out. It's a pretty well thought out backpack. Inside this first smaller bag or section. Let me give you a, a closer look. In the smaller section, you've got um, storage. It goes down to about where that reflective strip is. And you've got a nylon pouch, and you got a zipper pouch, and then you got a Velcro pouch for all your smaller stuff to keep it towards the top so it's not sitting down in the bottom of your bag. And your bigger one, a bigger pouch or a section, is just that. It's a big section with a spot for your laptop in the back. 
and it does have padding on each side for your laptop. You've got a nice big water bag or pouch or whatever you want to call it on each side and it's mesh so the sweating water won't sit there at the bottom of the bag. And it both sides. And you have your clips. I like to take them out. The four clips to hook your helmet bag to. Over here on the side, once you fill up your bag, you pull the strap to tighten everything up so it's not sliding all over the place or bouncing in there. And I'm not sure what these are for, but there's little loops at the bottom also. And here, I'll show you what I'm going to use. For. I always carry them in my walk and stick with me just because... If you watch my page, if you read my story, my ankle's all messed up. And you slide this down in, in there. And it's got a little lock on it. And it stays right there. I, maybe that's what it's for. Maybe it's not. And I put this on. Just walking around with an empty. And this thing weighs just about nothing they kept it under two pounds now one one spot on their website it says 1.9 and another spot it says 1.09 so i'm not sure on the exact weight but I, I can tell you when it's on your back it's weightless and hopefully i can get this on the camera get the straps out of the way can you see how thick this padding is for your back it's um, a little bit over an inch, and it's got the strip down here in the center to keep some of the sweat off of your back. And I didn't read through that. <laughs> and it's got the big pulls on the zippers, so when you're wearing your gloves, you can still get a hold of them. And I, I think. I'm going to go out later and try to show you how reflective the bag is. I don't know if I'm going to ride away from my truck on my bike or if I'm just going to go out there with a flashlight and shine it across the yard. But I will try to get that done. And like I said, it looks like a really well thought out bag. Plus the reflective strip down here I think so you can clip one of your other safety lights to it if you want but yeah the rider bag backpack that's it's well thought out it's really reflective and I mean when you're riding away or riding back whichever way you come back come empty it's it's going to feel like there's nothing on your back And actually, it does have the little belt strap on it, too. So you can keep the bottom from bouncing on your back. And, yeah, it's a durable, light, well-thought-out backpack. And they say it's water-resistant, not waterproof, which I think... Uh, and it comes with the waterproof bag. I think riding in the rain, you'd be fine. Nothing in here would get wet. This feels really waterproof. Uh, if you're going to go swimming, maybe take it off for a few reasons. <laughs> but yeah, I'll try to take it out later and get some pictures of it or video of it in the dark. All right, it's finally dark out, and my backpack is somewhere out there behind me. And if it's, well, I, I figured to make a game of it. 
if it shows up as well as it does on their website in the light, I mean, if it's really reflective and you can see it from far away, we'll find it. If not, I've just lost the backpack. Let's... Oh, can't even see the desert behind me. I don't know, I can't show you because I guess the flashlight's not picking up very well on here, but there's just a whole lot of desert out there. Alright. Hunting for the backpack. As you can see, I got my flashlight not zoomed in, so it's not shining way out in the desert. Up. Oh. You see that light that disappears? My light's not up. Right there's the backpack. Be now maybe 100, 120 feet out there. You can't tell. Oh, let's go get it. I can't walk straight to it. See, it's still... You can't see it. The light shines on it. You can see it. Can you see it? You can see it. Oh, it's moving around in the wind. There you have it. <laughs> nice reflective light duty backpack. That's where it doesn't glow in the dark when you're right up on it. But when you're 100 feet away, I imagine three, 400 feet away anyway, it's glowing. All right, now to take the backpack and go back and I'm not gonna record this so I'm not tripping through the desert. I think I may wrap this up inside. If not, thanks for watching.